Hello everybody, today I'm going to be telling you my top 20 most anticipated rides at Kings Island. Now I'm going to Kings Island for the first time this coming up Tuesday, so I'll be very excited to ride all the new rides and get all the new credits. Now starting off our list, I have an honorable mention, the Skyline. Now this is not a roller coaster or a ride, but I'm very excited to see what it will be like to pull up because Cedar Point, my home park, has a very, very good skyline. So I'm seeing or I'm waiting to see what it's like to pull up to Kings Island. All right, starting off our list in the 20th spot is the Great Pumpkin Coaster. I don't think I need to explain why this is in last place. It's a kids roller coaster and stands at a height of 10 feet, so that explains that. Alright, in 19th spot I have Delirium. This is very low because there's max air at Cedar Point, the exact same ride. And in the 18th spot I have Antique Cars. There's also one of these at Cedar Point, but it will have a different layout, which is why I'm excited to ride it. In number 17 spot, I have the Woodstock Express. Even though it's a kids coaster, I will be riding it to get the credit, and it looks solid for a kids coaster. Some people even say it has some pops at airtime. Now, number 16 spot, I have the train ride. At Cedar Point, it goes around the peninsula, so I'm very curious to see how this will compare to that at Cedar Point. Not totally sure if it goes around the park or through the park. I've never been there, never ridden it, so I'll have to tell you guys when I come back. Number 15, I have Flying Ace Aerial Chase. Now, I'm very excited to go on this ride because it's an inverted coaster, and except Raptor, I've never gone on an inverted coaster. It's also yellow. Yellow coasters either are terrible or very good. And I've heard it's very rough, so probably the terrible side of it. Nevertheless, I'm very excited to go on this ride. In our 14th spot, I have Adventure Express. Cedar Creek Mine Ride sucks. So, I'm very excited, at least I think so, to ride this ride. From the POVs, it seems pretty cool, like you go through a forest and all that. And they have some cool animatronics on the lift hill. So, I think that'll be pretty fun. But like I said, I'm very curious to see how it compares to the Cedar Creek Mine Ride. In the 13th spot, I have the Bat. Now, I've only ever gone on Iron Dragon for the Aero Suspended Coaster. And this looks to be way, way better than Iron Dragon. So I'm very excited to actually ride a thrill ride, if you will, of an Aero Suspended Coaster. Now, in our 12th spot, I have the blue side of Racer. Now, in a minute, I'll explain why I have blue lower than red, but I wish that blue would still be running backwards, because I've never gone on a backwards coaster before. Number 11, I have the red side eraser. I only have it up here because some people say it has some better airtime, so hopefully I can ride both of them, and I'll be able to compare them in a later video. Now, starting off our top 10, I have Flight of Fear. Now, I have very little knowledge of this coaster. All I know is that it's indoors and has a launch, and I think it's made by Aero, but I'm not totally sure. And also, I'm pretty sure there's an outdoor version somewhere, so I guess I'll have to watch that POV. But I might just not watch it and be surprised. Alright, in our ninth spot, I have Invertigo. Now, I'm actually very, very excited to ride this because I've been hearing a lot of good things about it, and I've never gone on a, I think it's a boomerang, maybe, or sh I know it's not a shuttle, I don't think. Whatever type of coaster this is, I'm pretty sure it's made by Vacoma. I might look that up. Invertigo is a Vacoma inverted shuttle coaster. All right, that does not change where I rank it. And number eight, I have the Backlot Stunt Coasters. Now I know it's technically a family ride, maybe even a kid's ride. But I really, really like launch coasters, and I like theming. Not as much as some people, but I still appreciate it. So I'm very excited to go on this, and again with my little brother. Number seven, I have Soul Spin. Now this is a new for 2022, I believe, installation. And I really wanted to ride the Witch's Wheel at Cedar Point, 
but they got rid of it. So this is probably the closest thing I'll get to riding that. And it's yellow. Now on number six, I have the drop tower. And oh man, I am, I am afraid of drop towers. They are very scary. Power tower, uh, sounds like it's gonna fall apart. And I almost like threw up a hundred times on it. So this, which is taller, I'm pretty sure. And scarier. And I have to do more research on it, but all I know is that it's very scary. Alright, starting in our top five is Banshee. I like Raptor a lot, and I really want to go on another inverted coaster, so I'll go on Banshee. But I do hear that it rattles a lot and is pretty rough towards the back, so I'll have to get it right in the back and the front. Number four, I have the Eiffel Tower. Now, I don't even know if you can count this as a ride, but it does have fast lane, so that should help me, but I do want to get a lot of videos of this. I just realized I forgot to put the beast on this list, so that would probably go next. So I guess a new number four is the beast. I've heard only good things about this. Oh, it's very long, it's the longest wooden coaster in the world, and it has amazing night rides, so hopefully I can get some night rides on it. All right, number three, I got Mystic Timbers. Now, some of you would be thinking I'd have this at number one, but you'll just have to see what's at number one. Mystic Timbers, I think, might be my number one. Wow, I just said number one a lot of times. But, right now I've only ridden one wooden coaster, which is Blue Streak. And I'm very excited to ride Mystic Timbers, because it looks awesome. I already know it's in the shed. The shed is, uh, not good. I guess I'll just leave it at that. Number two, I got Diamond back. Now... I like my BNMs. I like Valraven, I like Gatekeeper, I like Raptor, and uh, well, Rougarou is uh, actually let's not talk about Rougarou. Anyways, Diamond Back is 230 feet, meaning it will be the second tallest coaster I've ever been on, because right now I have Millennium and then Valraven, and this is in between those. And if you, I don't think you're including Val Raven as a BNM Hyper, so this will technically be my first BNM Hyper coaster. And I know there's a lot of BNM Hypers, but there's not one at Cedar Point, so I'll be very excited to ride this. And at our number one spot, we have Orion, the Hyper, I mean a Giga Coaster. That was an intended joke. The second blue Giga Coaster in Ohio. Now, I'm just very excited about the drop. I could care less about any of the layout, unlike Diamondback, but I just, uh, I wanna go front row on the drop. Now, will that happen? I don't know. Hopefully it does. I'll wait in the line. But until then, I guess we'll never know. All right, well, this video is long enough and it'll take forever to edit, so I guess I'll end it here. And unless something else happens next time I see you, will probably be after King's Island. So I guess I'll see you then.